What will helicopters look like in the not-too-distant future? There are many strange designs and ideas that people are thinking about. Today, we'll be taking a look at 15 amazing future helicopter concepts. Number 15. Boeing Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Concept Boeing says that the FARA, in its present form, uses an all-new six-bladed single main rotor powered by a single engine and controlled by a fly-by-wire system. There's also a push propeller for greater maneuverability and horizontal flight at speeds exceeding those of current helicopters. Up front, there's an advanced narrow cross-section cockpit with tandem seating and an intuitive common control interface for both of the crew. This includes flexible avionics, autonomous capabilities, and a large reconfigurable display with touchscreen capabilities. When in the hangar, the Boeing FARA has a number of maintenance innovations, including the ability to reload munitions faster by eliminating the need for supplemental lifts. It also has an onboard diagnostic system that operates in real time and can adjust to degraded conditions. The aircraft is also being designed with an open architecture, so it can be readily upgraded. Number 14. The Invictus The Invictus concept looks like something out of a video game, with sleek aerodynamic lines and a casing for the rear rotor. Developing company Bell says it should reach speeds of 200 knots while bearing a 20mm cannon and an integrated missile launcher. While the final design may differ slightly from the images Bell has released publicly, the design tilts away from the innovation that Bell is best known for, rotors that swivel to lift the aircraft off the ground then tilt to provide forward thrust, the kind that power the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey. Number 13. The Sikorsky Raider X The Sikorsky Raider X with a reported top speed of 200 knots has a coaxial rotor system, two top propellers that spin in opposite directions to improve the speed and stability. Sikorsky is already flying a version of the helicopter, the S-97 Raider, whereas the Invictus is currently in the concept stage. The Raider X is designed to use a single General Electric T901 engine. The GT T901 was developed under the Army's Improved Turbine Engine Program as the new engine for existing and future Army rotorcraft. Based on the S97 and X2 performance, Raider X is expected to have a maximum speed exceeding 290 miles an hour, with a maximum operational altitude of more than 9,000 feet. Raider X is expected to weigh 14,000 pounds or 6,400 kilograms. The cockpit uses side-by-side -side seats instead of the tandem seating typical of American attack helicopters. Internal weapons and sensors are mounted using a modular system in accordance with FARA specifications to anticipate future upgrades and obsolescence, meaning this copter can go the distance for years and years as a premier weapon in the air. Number 12. AW-159 Wildcat an AW-159 Wildcat helicopter is capable of working in tandem with semi-autonomous UAVs. It was designed by Leonardo, an Italian aerospace manufacturing and design company. It recently successfully demonstrated how helicopter crew could control the unmanned aerial vehicle from a helicopter, like it was an onboard sensor being controlled from the cockpit. The combination of the two platforms provided some great advantages in land and maritime tactical scenarios increasing the situational awareness, tempo, lethality, survivability, and combat mass of aviation forces, while significantly reducing the crew workload. Pilots can focus on the mission at hand, delegating some of the tasks to the drone. That becomes a detached sensor of the helicopter, able to operate closer to the area of interest as the manned platform remains at a safe distance. The AW-159 has a semi-rigid rotor head to give it a high agility that's fitted with a composite rotor blades utilizing the same technology that enabled the Lynx, an older model helicopter, to break the world helicopter speed record. Its pair of CTS-804N engines have exhaust which include built-in infrared suppression to enhance survivability. The cockpit features four large area 10-inch by 8-inch displays and a fully integrated avionics suite and mission system. One of these was used to display the live video feed coming from the remotely controlled UAV. Infrared and daytime color imagery is provided through a nose-mounted electro-optical device, which incorporates a laser rangefinder. Naval variants are also equipped with a 360-degree scan radar and weapons carrier for a range of torpedoes, depth charges, and anti-surface missiles. The Wildcat plus UAV concept is a one-two punch that allows helicopter crews to avoid the most dangerous work themselves, while still being nearby enough to help in any situation should conflicts arise. Number 11. Bell FCX-001 The FCX-001 has a fan-driven anti-torque system, 
hybridized propulsion morphing main rotor blade tips, an extensive use of glass in the fuselage, gull wing doors, and the use of augmented reality in the cockpit to control the aircraft. It's the future on blades. The rear of the aircraft doesn't feature a tail rotor, a feature that's looked upon with skepticism in today's helicopter pilot circles, but one that could prove instrumental in making them safer to operate in the future. The anti-torque is provided by multiple fans embedded within the tail boom. The vented system gives the capability to thrust in either direction and will also have thrust vector control, allowing it to forego a horizontal stabilizer. Powering that anti-torque system is an electric motor as part of a hybridized propulsion system. On the ceiling of the widened cabin, which is capable of accommodating up to 12 crew, Bell has designed a honeycomb of drop-down control modules to allow for maximum customization and comfort for passengers. Concept envisions the modules providing the ability for passengers to adjust things such as their lighting, temperature, or infotainment experience. Number 10. Eurocopter X3 The X3 demonstrator is based on the Eurocopter AS365 Dolphin helicopter, with the addition of short-span wings each fitted with a tractor propeller, having different pitch to counter the torque effect of the main rotor. Conventional helicopters use tail rotors to counter the torque effect, but the Eurocopter's tractor propellers are gear-driven from two main turboshaft engines, which also drive the five-bladed main rotor system. The helicopter is designed to prove the concept of a high-speed helicopter, which depends on slowing the rotor speed by up to 15% in order to avoid drag from the advancing blade tip, and to avoid retreating blade stall by unloading the rotor while the small wing provides 40-80% to lift instead. The X3 can hover with a pitch attitude between minus 10 and plus 15 degrees. Its bank range is 40 degrees in hover and is capable of flying at bank angles of 120 to 140 degrees, which is beyond the capabilities of current tried and tested models in use today. The chopper can climb at a speed of up to 5,500 feet per minute, perform high G turn rates of 2 Gs at 210 knots, enough to make even the most seasoned pilots a bit dizzy. This concept is well suited for missions requiring long transit flights at high speeds while retaining full vertical lift and hover capabilities. Number 9. Sikorsky Sara The Sikorsky Sara takes a nod from Tesla's cars. It has full autopilot and is controllable from a large tablet surface mounted inside the cockpit. You can load in a preset mission or just point to a spot on the map and enter your speed and altitude preferences. The computer then calculates the best route to get there safely. With a simple tap of the screen, the helicopter takes off and goes to work. Along the way, inertial guidance systems and GPS keep it on track while external sensors, including LiDAR and cameras, watch for obstacles and potential landing sites should something go wrong. Along with the tablet, the SARA comes with two interceptors on either side of the flight seats. These hand controls let the pilot interrupt the flight plan to change the helicopter's direction or position, or just fly around. The left control manages the throttle and yaw. The right is a joystick that allows for horizontal control, pitching forward, backward, left, or right. Even these, though, are far simpler than a helicopter's four standard controls, the cyclic, throttle, collective, and pedals. When the pilot uses the interceptor, the computer finds the right combination of controls to deliver what they want. The result is a control system that's as intuitive as any video game. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Sikorsky S-97 The Sikorsky S-97 is a responsive dream for experienced pilots. It holds a nose-down hover, something conventional helicopters can't do without drifting, which improves visibility to ground objects and is made possible by the rear propeller. Having two rotor discs spinning in opposite directions balances the effect that allows for much higher top speeds. Because the counter-rotating rotors also negate the torque typically generated on the fuselage by a single rotor, there's no need for a conventional rear tail rotor. So in the Raider, the engineers replace the side-facing tail rotor with a rear-facing propeller that receives most of the power during forward flight, with the two main rotors whirling just fast enough to maintain lift, much like a wing. Conversely, the rear prop is nearly underpowered in low-speed maneuvering while the rotors are given all the power they need. To ensure the two rotor blades don't hit each other, Sikorsky made them especially rigid so they don't bounce and flex the way conventional helicopter blades do. Another of the Raider's tricks is that it can slow down quickly and without pitching the nose up, as conventional helicopters must, since the rear prop eliminates the need to use the main rotor as a brake. 
Similarly, it can accelerate without pitching forward. All of this also means the helicopter can point where it wants, when it wants, facilitating the crew's aiming of weapons and sensors, use of rescue equipment, and whatever else they need to do. Number 7. MIL MIX-1 The MIX-1 is one of the fastest concept copters on this list, with a projected top speed of over 320 miles an hour. The helicopter will have a cruising speed of 280 miles per hour and a dash speed of 320 miles an hour. This will be possible through the use of a pusher propeller and a number of aerodynamic improvements, including a retractable landing gear and streamlined forward and rear fuselage sections. The MIX-1 may be powered by two upgraded Klimov VK2500 turboshafts or two future Klimov VK3000 currently under development. Similar engines are installed on the MIL MI-28 and Kamov Ka-50 attack helicopters. A Russian Air Force General expects a prototype to fly in 2018, with production in 2022. Russia started a single-seat flying laboratory based on the MIL MI-24 in 2015, intended to go 248 miles an hour. Number 6. Leonardo AW249 Leonardo is developing this helicopter in a program called NICE, Nuovo Helicottero de Esplorazione Escorta, or New Reconnaissance and Escort Helicopter. The AW249 will be based on existing solutions and operational experience, including a lightweight helicopter combat helicopter AW129 Mangusta, but will be much heavier, with a maximum takeoff weight of around 7 to 8 tons. The weapon's fit is to constitute up to 16 guided anti-tank missiles, 70mm rockets, as well as very short and short-range air-to-air missiles. This implies the ability to carry a similar amount of weapons as the heaviest combat helicopters in the world. The aw 249 stub wings will carry four weapon pylons and additional rails for air-to-air -air missiles. The armament is to be completed with a 20mm three-tube rotary gun, successfully used today in the Mangusta. Number 5. AVX Helicopter Arguably the most futuristic-looking helicopter on this list, the AVX's ducted fans are the most visible trademark of AVX designs. Basically, they are rotors spinning inside a cylindrical cover, a propeller in a can. Arguably more efficient than conventional propellers and rotors at low speeds, but less efficient at high speeds. They're used in the Navy's LCAC hovercraft and off-the-shelf mini-drones. AVX, however, likes to put them on high-speed aircraft. The ducted fans can vary the pitch of their blades in useful ways, making the aircraft more agile, but it's also great for protection of passengers. What AVX is offering for the future attack reconnaissance aircraft is called a compound helicopter. Essentially, it's a hybrid of helicopter and propeller plane, with two sets of rotor blades on top spinning in opposite directions, so you don't need a tail rotor for stability and a push propeller at the back, allowing it to reach much higher speeds than helicopter rotors alone allow. Number 4. X-49A Speedhawk The Piasecki X-49 Speedhawk is an American four-bladed twin-engined experimental high-speed compound helicopter developed by Piasecki Aircraft. The X-49A is based on the airframe of a Sikorsky YSH-60F Seahawk, but utilizes Piasecki's proprietary vectored thrust ducted propeller, or VTDP design, and includes the addition of lifting wings. The concept of the experimental program was to apply the VTDP technology to a production military helicopter to determine any benefit gained through increases in performance or useful load. The Speedhawk aircraft includes an SPU, third engine, a high forward swept wing concept, a 45-inch fuselage plug cabin extension, and several other drag-reducing and performance-oriented improvements, including a rotary hub fairing, landing gear streamlining, and a fly-by-wire flight control system for extremely reliable and quick input on the controls. Great for mission maneuverability in tight situations. Number 3. TAI T625 Gokbe The TAI T625 Gokbe is a twin-engine light transport utility helicopter developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI, as part of the original helicopter program, coordinated by the Presidency of Defense Industries. Turkish Aerospace Industries launched the preliminary design studies in 2010. The Gokbe features a four-axis dual-redundant automatic flight control system, along with an Acelon glass cockpit with two wide touchscreen integrated mission displays, their 8x20 inches, and two touchscreen data entry touch command control units, 8x10 inches. It's designed for IFR and VFR single pilot operations, night operations, and flight in known icing conditions. 
The helicopter is designed for two crew and 12 passengers. The large cabin space can be arranged to meet various operational needs, such as VIP transportation, ambulance, and search and rescue operations. The T-625 is designed and optimized to meet and exceed the multi-mission requirements for hot and high geographical environments and for adverse weather conditions. Number 2. The Bell V-280 The Bell V-280 Valor is a tilt-rotor aircraft being developed by Bell and Lockheed Martin for the United States Army's Future Vertical Lift Program. The V-280 is reported to be designed for a cruising speed of 280 knots or a staggering 320 miles per hour, a range of 2100 nautical miles and an effective combat range of 500 to 800 nautical miles. Expected maximum takeoff weight is around 30,000 pounds. Here's how it works. A drive shaft runs through the straight wing, allowing both prop rotors to be driven by a single engine in the event of engine loss. The V-280 will have retractable landing gear, a triple redundant fly-by-wire control system, and a V-tail configuration. The wings are made of a single section of carbon fiber reinforced polymer composite, reducing weight and production costs. The V-280 will have a crew of four and be capable of transporting up to 14 troops. Dual cargo hooks will give it a lift capacity to carry a 10,000-pound M777A2 howitzer while flying at a speed of 150 knots. The fuselage is visually similar to that of the UH-60 Black Hawk medium lift helicopter. Check out the film Black Hawk Down to learn more about this legendary chopper. When landed, the wing is in excess of 7 feet up from the ground, allowing soldiers to exit easily out of the two 6-foot-wide slide doors and door gunners to have wide fields of fire. Although the initial design is a utility configuration, Bell is also working on an attack configuration for more punch from its mounted weaponry. The U.S. Marine Corps is interested in having one aircraft to replace utility and attack helicopters, but the Army, which leads the program, is not committed to the idea and wants distinct platforms for each mission. Bell and Lockheed claim an AV-280 variant can launch rockets, missiles, and even small unmanned aerial vehicles forward or aft with no rotor interference even in forward flight and cruise modes with the rotors forward. Number 1. The Asuka Let's step away from military models for our number one helicopter concept. Asuka is a flying car developed by the American-Israeli startup NFT, short for Next Future Transportation. The nifty contraption is actually classified as an eVTOL vehicle, which stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. Basically, it can be either driven like a regular car with its wings folded back, are used as a small private airplane with vertical takeoff and landing, like a helicopter. When the wings are unfolded, they expose 10 ducted fans with two more integrated into the wings. Power comes from a large battery pack, and there's also a gasoline range extender providing a total flying range of an estimated 350 miles or 563 kilometers. The cabin accommodates up to three passengers, and the initial plan is for an intelligent autonomous system to navigate and control the vehicle, on the road and in the air. If and when the Asuka reaches mass production, it's expected to carry a starting price of about $200,000, but the company behind it is also working on a subscription service with two to $300 monthly payments. The idea is to have something that you can take on the road and the sky for those that don't want to be just confined to one or the other. Is this what the Jetsons predicted, or is this destined to fail? Let us know in the comments down below. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.